Blocking six? Doesn't matter with this cheesy defensive strategy. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, I'm going to talk about a defensive strategy, um, a blitz technique, um, a cheesy, cheesy blitz technique that uh, if you use it the right way, it can be very, very effective. Now, um, Madden a few years ago actually had a concept which was called um, plus one blitzing. And basically what it meant is that if you're running a man blitz or some kind of a man assignment and the running back was blocking, that man that was actually supposed to cover that running back would actually go ahead and go into a blitz where you'd actually come in and attack the quarterback. And it was plus one blitzing. Well, they took that programming out of the game. It's not one of the defensive assignments anymore. But I ran it to somebody online that actually used the methodology manually against me. And it really caught me off guard. Uh, it put me in a situation where he got a couple cheap stops against me in the very beginning of the game. And then it changed my mentality on how I was going to run my plays going further on. Now, I would recommend holding on to this particular defensive strategy a little bit later in the game. I wouldn't start spamming it right away because any good Madden player is going to destroy this strategy. So... It just caught me off guard, uh, and I gave him an advantage. It gave him, uh, gave him a couple of possessions, and it was very difficult for me to get back into the game because of it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show this to you out of the Overstorm Brave, out of the Nickel Normal defense. But you could pretty much do this out of any defense that is blitzing six, which is basically a zero type of a blitz. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at um, that Nickel Normal defense, and I'll show you a quick setup. And we're going to run this against uh, four verticals where the, the, the uh, running back will block. And this, I'm going to show you how this play works. Now, how? All right, so uh, basically, this is a plus one men, uh, mentality. You're going to be sending seven, uh, knowing that basically his running back is going to determine whether you're going to follow him to the outside and you know you're going to get one person free or you're going to go ahead and actually blitz in if the running back blitzes. So uh, to set this up, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take our defensive line and actually go ahead and pinch them in by hitting your left bumper and actually pinching him and also we're going to go ahead and take our linebackers this is how I like to set it up we're going to hit our right bumper and then sh uh, hit the right stick uh, the, hit the left stick uh, to actually shift them off to the right and then I actually this is one of the few blitzes that I like with a QB contain so we're going to hit the, the left trigger and then use uh, the R, R, the right bumper to QB contain and then we're going to go ahead and do the left uh, trigger and pass commit. So four quick adjustments. These are global adjustments if you guys are not familiar with it. And I'm going to take this guy down right to the line of scrimmage. And my read on this play is to see if the running back blocks or not. If he doesn't block, I'm going to chase him to the outside. But if he does block, if he if he does block, I'm going into the, after the quarterback. I'm going to force this running back to pick me up as a blitzer. And if he does, he can't pick up the sixth guy on the other side. Actually, giving yourself a, a situation to get some heat. Now, another quick adjustment you could do too is you can do uh, the adjustments with the. Uh, the defensive backs by hitting the, the wire triangle button and do underneath so those actual defenders will actually play the guys underneath and try to prevent any kind of uh, cuts with the routes. So we're going around the edge right here. As you can see, I get picked up in the blitz, but this other guy doesn't. And because of this particular, this this the way this blitz works is you're sending seven, uh, knowing you're always going to beat that situation. You've got guys manned up uh, uh, going across the middle, and you can see right there. Even I get a bad angle, but this this that defender actually goes ahead and tackles him. So let's run it a couple more times, and I'll show you how this. Works. So we're going to go ahead, uh, pinch our line, shift our linebackers off to the right, QB contain, pass commit by pu pushing, uh, doing the left trigger and pu pushing up on the right stick. And we're going to bring this def this defender down to the line of scrimmage, and we're going to read that running back and just see if he goes out and route. If not, we're going to go ahead and blitz him. So he's, he comes in a blitz, and now I'm manually blitzing this guy and giving myself an opportunity to go and get a big sack. So what the psychology of this particular setup is now your opponent is thinking that you're manually blitzing and that clock shortens up on him on, on quickly on how his routes can actually uh, get open. So it, it just the psychology of it is that, oh my lord, this guy's manually blitzing me. He's bringing all, these, all this pressure. I got to get rid of the ball quick. So this is a really good blitz to roll into. 
uh, against uh, against someone who's running a lot of uh, that's actually in a third and long situation, a fourth and long situation, uh, where you just need to go ahead and get a quick stop. He has to get the ball down the field. And this is really going to go ahead and force him to go ahead and, um, and, and make drastic plays. Now, let's take a look at this if, if, if he actually puts his running back out on the route. So if he actually puts a guy on the, uh, the running back on the route, all we're going to do is we're just going to read that running back um, on the read. So let's just act like we're going in, going in. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take that out. Now that's going to put him in a situation where he knows the pressure is coming in. So that's what I, I like about this particular concept. It's a first and foremost, it's unpatchable. You can't patch this type of a concept on defense. It's a good situation, a long yardage situation where you need to get a stop against your opponent. Uh, and it's just an easy, it's a cheesy blitz, and it's going to put you in a situation where you're going to get some cheesy stops against your opponent. So, guys, if you like these type of tips, Make sure you go ahead and hit that smash that, that like button. And I'll be rolling out some more Madden tips uh, out soon. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. And until next time.